Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It is currently Monday morning and I just got to the salon. It is exactly 8.30, October 18th. So I'm going to be filming a week in my life video in the salon. So this is strictly just going to be salon content. I'm not going to film like my days off or anything. Um, and just kind of go through and do like a voiceover talking about every almost every client whenever I remember to actually film but I'll try and do like before and afters and then me just like kind of what I'm doing throughout the day and stuff so I'm about to go into the salon and start my day today um, I don't have I mean it's kind of a long day but not really I have my first client she's getting a partial foil and then an extension move up and she's coming in at 9 and then I have like a partial kind of like balayage after that at 1245 um, and then I have a balayage at three o'clock. So hopefully I'll be out of here by six. It definitely shouldn't take that long. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I have a good like nine hour day today, which isn't terrible at all. Um, I do usually wake up my, I actually am filming while I'm editing and uploading a video before this one of a typical like morning in my life. So if you guys don't know, I wake up at 4.30 every morning. So I've actually been up for four hours already. And typically I go to the gym and like get the dogs all set up and stuff. So yeah, anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the salon and just fold some towels, get some foils ready, um, everything like that. And I will see you guys when I'm in there. So in case you guys haven't seen, this is my salon shop theory. It's in Matthews, North Carolina, right outside of Charlotte. It's just a small little space, but it's perfect for me and my stylist Stephanie right now. So, so to start off right here, you guys will see that I am just unclamping those beads and I am cutting right there where the thread is up at the top of her extensions. It doesn't cut her natural hair at all. It is just to help kind of take the extensions out without pulling any of her hair. Just the easiest way that I have found right there instead of sliding out the extensions. So that is what I'm doing. And once I remove those, I actually move them back up, which you guys won't see. You just will see me apply her color. So once they're moved back up, then I go in and do her partial foil around the extensions. The reason I like to do that, especially with my blondes, is just because whenever I'm Toning, I like to make sure that the extensions are toned to match her hair as well. Obviously, if we're doing a fresh toner on her hair and we're not toning the extensions, then they're not going to match. And she likes her hair quite icy and bright. So I'm just going to go in and do a partial baby light, add in just a little bit of dimension up at her root as well for an easier grow out since she is about to have her baby like three days after this, literally. So yeah, anyways, um, then we're moving on and you guys will see that I'm curling her hair. Um, it turned out so beautiful. And then I'm moving on to my next client after that. So since I'm such an amazing YouTuber, I completely forgot to film my second client. Of course, I tend to do that. So my last client of the day, I actually went in and did a full balayage on her. She really wanted a very dimensional root, um, kind of darker up at the top and then super bright down on the bottom. So you guys will see right here that I'm kind of um, focusing more on the ends of her hair. And I did kind of take out the pieces that were already super blonde, so we're not over processing those, but at the same time wanted to brighten up the ends of her hair. So I just had to be super careful while doing this right there. But yeah, anyways, that is the process that I did with her and then went in and did some like baby lights up towards the front of her face so she doesn't feel too dark up there. All right, all right, so it is 6.40 and I just got done. I actually obviously finished a little bit later than expected um, just because my last client, she has a lot of hair. And we ended up doing like a full balayage on her. So, um, just ran a little bit behind, but it's no big deal. Typical Monday. So, I'm just going to clean up everything. I look like such a mess because my I'm like on this new um, retinol and it's tearing up my skin right now, which is to be expected before it gets good. So, 
Um, that's why I look so bad at the moment. But, but anyway, so I will see you guys tomorrow for my next day at work on Tuesday. So, bye guys. Oh, hello, good morning. It is Tuesday. I'm gonna try and film more today than I did yesterday. I literally only filmed two of my three clients yesterday. So I really didn't get a lot on camera. I was just like so busy and kind of like, I don't know, I was just, my head, my head was like everywhere the whole entire day. So right now I'm basically getting set up for my first client. I will probably be here again until like six tonight is what I'm guessing. Um, but I have a lot of towels that I'm about to fold. And then I have to get ready because my first client is an extension move up. I think she has two rows and then um, a balayage on her as well. So that's gonna be a pretty long appointment. I have her booked from nine. It is currently 8.40 right now. So I have her booked from nine until 1.30. And then I have another one from 1.30 until 1.30, I think till four. And then my last one, obviously, I think it will be like four to six, maybe, or 6.30. So um, probably won't get home till seven. And I do have to wash my hair whenever I get off because I've been trying not to wash my hair at home. I feel like I have really hard water at home. And this is day four currently right now, which doesn't look too bad, but I can definitely feel it. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for my first client. So typically I like to get to the salon super early and just get prepared for my clients for the day so I don't feel rushed right when I get there. So because I have extension move ups today, I'm just going to load up my bead tool right there and then I'm going to cut some thread just to prepare all of my needles. And once I do that, you guys will see that I'm doing my extension move up. So she has two rows um, of Jay-Z extensions and we are just going to move those up for her. And once I'm done moving them up, I am going to um, go in and do like a teasy light color on her. We usually just do a teasy light. I think it's every like three move ups on her. So probably every like three to four months we do a teasy light. Um, the hardest thing I would say about that is because she is dark. Um, we can't go too much brighter because her extension color is obviously saying the color that it is. We can't lighten her extension. So it's really just to maintain her color and brighten up her roots, but not brighten up the roots or the ends anymore. So you guys will see after I finish applying her color and doing the extensions, it turns out so beautiful. I love this dimensional kind of brondish color on her. So I guess it's just a trend that I'm going to keep forgetting to record my second client. Luckily, she was just a color like gray retouch, so it wasn't anything crazy that you guys missed. But we are moving on to the third and final client, and she has super baby fine hair. So I try and keep her bleaching to a minimum, which means we alternate from full and partial foils. And she was just in probably like three months ago, so she really didn't need a full balayage all over again. So I'm just doing a partial TZ light on her. And then after that, I'm going to style her out using the Lanza products. These are my favorite. And you guys will see I'm using the Lanza texture spray to give her those really nice beachy, messy waves. And then finishing up with the Lanza healing um, hairspray. And yeah, after that, I'm going to go on and wash my own hair. can see I'm out of the salon it is 6 15 I actually got done with my client at 5 30 but as you guys can see I washed my hair so um I am now washing my hair at the salon and trying to figure out why my hair has been breaking off so bad and just being so unhealthy and I don't know if it's like coloring it because I haven't I don't really color it that often um or if it's the hard water that's at home because I feel like ever since I moved to my new house in the last year my hair has kind of just like slowly gone downhill from there so I have a feeling it's the hard water um but yeah anyways um, I'm about to go home I have my day off tomorrow and then I will see you guys 
on Thursday when I'm back in the salon. Hello, good morning, happy Friday. So I know that I said I was supposed to see you guys on Thursday, but I completely forgot after having the day off on Wednesday, I 1000% forgot that I was filming a week in my life. So I didn't film my extension client yesterday, so I apologize for that. But then today I almost forgot. And so I was about through with my last client. You guys saw, um, well, you guys will see in a second, but I was about through with my last client. I'm filming this after, she, or my first, oh my God, what am I saying? So I almost forgot today too, that I was supposed to start filming my Friday today. And then I was bl about to blow dry my client. I'm like, oh my God, wait, I have to film this. So um, anyways, it is Friday now. I'm back at the salon and I just finished my first client. It's 11:40. She's absolutely amazing. I adore her, but I, um, was trying a new product because Wow, um, Color Wow sent me some products and their Dream Coat. I feel like this is a very, very raved about product. And then their Dream Cocktail Leave In Treatment. And then also their Extra Large Bombshell Volumizer. So I tried the strengthening um, treatment and then the Dream Coat on her. And we really actually loved it. You guys will see here in a second. Um, I'm going to play the clip and then. I now have a haircut and then after her I have another haircut and then after her I have a balayage and then after her I booked a new client for a partial foil and she's getting a pretty um, bright blonde so yeah I have a pretty long day but I wanted to book myself an extra client today because Christian's been working later and I don't have any plans and it's Friday so figured why not she's coming in at five um, and I'm not mad about it so I will see you guys in just a second. I'm going to show you my um, first client and then you guys will see me cutting on my second client. So I first started off by putting the Dream Cocktail Leave-In Treatment in her hair and then I kind of sprayed that Dream Coat all over and once I started sectioning her hair then I put a lot more of the Dream Coat on each section. It says that it's activated by heat and you guys will see she actually has like naturally pretty curly, pretty coarse hair because she does have natural gray. So I feel like when people start to have naturally gray hair, it could just comes in a lot more coarse. And as you age, it just gets a lot more coarse. So what we are going to do is I'm just going to do a section by section rough dry, and then I'm going to kind of smooth out each section as I go and round brush it. And you guys will see whenever we're finished, how beautiful it looks. We didn't even take a flat iron to it or anything. And when I say that her hair is naturally very, very frizzy. Like she normally has to go in with a blow dryer and then straighten it. And after like a day or two, it starts to get frizzy all over again. And I reached out to her and asked how she liked it. And she said after three days, it still was frizz free. So I love this product right here. Thank you so much Color Wow for sending it over. And now we are moving on to the next client of the day. And I actually forgot to record, oh my God, my second client once again. Um, but we ended up doing a toner on her. And then this is a third client of the day, which we just did a haircut. Not really sure why this clip is so blurry, but I apologize for that one um, so once we finished doing a haircut on her then I moved on to my other client Moving on to the next client right here. This is her before. Unfortunately, she went through a lot of medication that made her hair fall out. So um, we are just going to bring her hair back to life. So we are actually darkening it today. Obviously with the condition of her hair, I didn't want to lighten it and she didn't want to either. She just wants to kind of go through a recovery and just do anything to make it as healthy as possible, starting off with the color. So what we're doing is just darkening her root and her mids. And then what I went through and did after in the shampoo bowl is actually tone the leftover blonde parts to tone them down to a level eight. So the root is more like a level like six. And then the mids were a level seven and then her ends were a level eight. So just kind of blend it all really nicely together. And you guys will see the after we cut off quite a bit of her hair as well. And I just love the way it turned out. Mm -hmm. 
So this was my last client of the day and we just did a partial foil on her. She wanted to be as bright as possible with a partial foil. So I love the way that this turned out. She wanted to be pretty icy. So I just used 10P, 10VV, and 10T from Rankin Shades EQ. Um, and this is what it turned out like. So I hope... All right, so I just got done with my last client, as you guys saw. It is 8.01 on Friday night. So I am out of here, you guys, but I appreciate you guys tagging along for the week and watching everything. This is typically what a week in my life looks like here at the salon, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.